at 12 o'clock today, well, 1 p.m. Eastern, the Brickyard 400 will start, assuming it's not pouring down rain. They moved up the stop start time due to the fact of rain, obviously. But here we go. Brickyard 400. Um, I made my college football video. Now I'm here for the Brickyard video, the NASCAR video. Everything's been rained out. Practices, qualifying, so they're starting in order of points. Um, that means Kyle Busch is on pole. Kevin Harvick second, Truex third. But Truex, who's starting third, and Suarez, who's starting 20th, have to drop to the rear. They did not pass inspection. Haven't even gone on the track yet, and they failed inspection. Weird. Um, so they will be starting in the back. So that's not good for them. Truex last year, if you remember, him and Kyle Busch had the best cars all day. They were playing nice with each other, but after the end of stage two, they said, let's actually race. Truex got loose on the inside of Kyle and took them both out. There's an altercation after the race between the crew chief of the M&M's, or not the M&M's, the Skittles team, uh, which would be Adam Stevens, and he confronted some guys in the 78 crew. And even though Adam Stevens was the one that started the confrontation, for some reason, the guys for Truex's team got suspended by Joe Gibbs Racing. Whatever. Um, the favorites. I got Kyle Busch. That's an obvious. He's won two of the last three Brickyard 400s. Uh, Kevin Harvick, he's had speed all year. He's basically, he's basically a favorite everywhere. And then also Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski last year, if you remember, he finished second in this race. Uh, it's Casey Kane. Uh, Casey Kane will not be racing due to heat illness. He had an issue last week where he was like, his heart, his heart, um, what's that called? Pressure? your heartbeat, whatever that's called. Um, it was getting a little bit too high, and so it was really dangerous. So they are sitting. the doctors are sitting him out this week just due to that, so he will not have a shot to defend his Brickyard win. Regan Smith will be driving the 95. Getting back to the favorites, Brad Kozlowski, because he has the momentum from last week with that win, but last year he also finished second and survived the wreck fest. <laughs> um, golly, that was such a mess last year, if you guys remember that. Uh, I think only like 15 cars finished. Um, such a mess. Uh, surprises. I got two surprises. One of them might not surprise you. The other one definitely will, I swear. But uh, Jimmy Johnson, because obviously he's a four-time Brickyard winner, which is second on the all-time list, only to the one and only Jeff Gordon, who's on the thumbnail. Gordon has five Brickyard wins, obviously, which is the most. So I got Jimmy. I think he will run top 10 today. Um, I think he'll get his playoff spot, but I really don't see any surprise winners. Unless it's a fuel mileage race, I don't really see any surprise winners, surprise people getting the way and bumping someone out. But, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, you know, someone like, let's go down the list here. If someone, you know, like Stenhouse was super aggressive today to try to get their win, you know, they were super aggressive near the end of the race if they were top five to try to get the lead and stuff. Uh, that might trigger some stuff, trigger some wrecks. Uh, my other surprise, I'm, I'm like dead serious. I'm being dead serious on this one. Timmy Hill. If you remember in this wreck fest last year, Timmy Hill got a career high finish of 14th. 14th for that 66 team. That team runs 35th to 40th every week, and they went to the brickyard. They survived the wreck fest and finished 14th. That's amazing. This isn't a super speedway. Yes, it was a wreck fest like a super speedway, but still. That's incredible for a team like that to go to a track they're not expecting to do well. Whether well, Any day they get a top 30, honestly, is a good day for a team like that. And when they get a top 20 and a top 15, that's like a win to them. That's honestly like they just won a race. That was amazing to watch. So Timmy Hill, he knows how to survive this place. Um... Don't be surprised if, where is he starting? He's starting 39th if he if he climbs up through the field and surprises us all and gets a top 20 again. Uh, I don't think he will unless there's another wreck fest, but I think I think he's got a shot at top 30, top 25, you know? You never know, but it'll be interesting. Uh, let's go, Timmy. Come on. Make, make me proud. Make me proud, Timmy. Disappointments, Clint Boyer. 
due to the fact that I saw some stat somewhere that was like in his last 10 races, he has a very bad average at the Brickyard. He's had some bad luck there. Um, he got in a wreck late last year. It's been it's been a rough time at the Brickyard for him. But yeah, um, you know, Clint, he's, he's always excited. He's always on five-hour energy or something. But I, I just don't think it'll be his week yet again. Uh, which sucks, but... And now we're going to go to my race pick, which is... Joey Logano. I don't know why. I just got a feeling. But, man. Logano's had some good runs at the Brickyard in the past. A few top fives. Second place finish in 2015. I want to say 2015. If it was 2016, someone correct me. But, obviously, he has run well there. Um, he's shown that, hey, I got potential to win here. Last week, they got that second-place finish at Darlington. They were showing some signs of speed. So the team is starting to pick up some speed, and they could really use the playoff points, as I've said in my championship preview video for Logano. Uh, so I think they'll be going for those playoff points. Um, you know, playoff points they could be going for. A lot. Watch out for strategy today. Like, if it's the end of the stage, 10 to go. Don't be surprised if one of these guys who's already in the playoff stays out for the stage win. To get another playoff point. Um, but I think Logano. I think Todd Gordon might call this race a little aggressively. Uh, they're starting in the top five. Which I think is an advantage. I think they. I haven't seen their car. So I can't, I can't say it's based on speed. But if they do what they did last week. They get themselves to the front. And they can run well up in the front. I think they got a good shot at the win. So that's why I picked Joey Logano. Um, thank you for watching. That's all I have for today. Um, I did do that college football week two. Big 12 power rankings. Here it is. Uh, since I picked Joey Logano, I'll put it up here. My Joey Logano championship pick or case right here. And the normal old subscribe to me, click on my face. Here you go. Click on my face. Come on, you want to do it. Yeah, you do. Thank you for watching.